Hi, I'm Layla Sarabia. I am a midfielder from Houston, Texas. So I started playing at three years old. My dad was the one who introduced me into soccer. Um, from there, I grew up playing with boys, and I did that every weekend. Um, and so, yeah, I basically, like, my family loved soccer. My mom played, my dad played, and um, in a way, soccer is just how I carry my dad close to me. So that's one of the big reasons on why I continue to play soccer. But I am from maybe not the nicest part of Houston, Texas. Um, so soccer was my way out, basically, school and soccer. So my mom always pushed me to do well in school and, of course, on the field, just because if it weren't for my soccer and school, like academic scholarship, I wouldn't be here today. So you said you carry your dad with you. Did your dad mm -hmm. pass away? Yes, he passed away when I was six years old. So soccer really keeps you connected to him? Oh, 100%. He, that was his life as well, and so now it's something I carry. To be able to be a Mexican soccer player and represent that culture, that community for Houston, for Stockton, to be able to see those little kids watch you play in the same way that you got to learn from older kids and your parents, what does that mean to you that you are a role model and you are an important part of that community? Wow, um, yeah, it's something that I kind of cherish. It's great to be, I call Stockton my second home just because it feels like where I'm from, basically, just like the area in Houston. And just seeing these kids come to like the camps and the like our games, it's kind of just heartwarming especially because I was one of those kids at some point and just showing them that being Hispanic or any Latino or anything like you you can achieve your dreams. I'm a first generation student so therefore just showing them that it's possible and it's definitely like something they can achieve. So on the field, midfielder, mm -hmm. talk about your upcoming schedule. So what kind of games, tournaments, matches are you really looking forward to? What are those ones that you are like, we are going to take this game? It's definitely Oregon, playing Oregon State um, and going to Iowa. Playing those big schools is something really important for this program, just proving that we can compete at that level. And WCC is a great conference, so obviously looking forward to playing BYU, Pepperdine, um, just any team in the WCC, it's a great opportunity for us to just show that we are a small school, but on the field, we're a big team. What would your message be to your fans? You talked a little bit about being a role model for those younger fans that you get to see, but um, even for the adults, for those who love soccer and for those who maybe are not yet into soccer, but they're hoping to come to a game, what is your message for them? You know, soccer is something that allows us to escape and just find your own escape no matter what sport or what activity that is. Um, as long as you have something that will help you push through those hard times, it's something amazing. And looking forward to this season, we've got some fun theme nights planned, some club nights that your coaches have and some ideas that you guys have, tailgates, food trucks, that kind of stuff. The atmosphere, how is important is that to you as a player to get those fans out? If they're using it as an escape, if they're using it to enjoy, but it also helps you, how important is that for you guys? It motivates us. It pushes us to play even harder just because we have all these fans looking at us and knowing that we have to perform well. Even if like they weren't there, we still have to perform well. But with them there on top of that, it just pushes us to be better as a team, as a whole, and play more. Like with more spirit, if that makes sense. Layla, is there anything that we hadn't touched on about your season, about yourself, your past, your love for soccer that you wanted to touch on? No, not really. I think it's just kind of that, just coming from a, basically the hood in Houston and being first generation and I have my entire family to thank for that. They pushed me, they motivated me, and they even like financially supported me with all those like traveling nights, like travel trips, the money that it took to be here. I'm just like very grateful for them.